Hello there, everybody. Welcome to day seven of VEDS. I'm going to try to make this as close to a one-take video as possible because tomorrow I am leaving on tour and I'm taking the vlog on tour with me. There's going to be one more episode that I filmed from home that's going to go up tomorrow and then if all goes well, I'll start uploading tour vlogs as of Friday. But today I just wanted to kind of do a quick video responses thing. I think I'll do this on Wednesdays uh, as best I can. Again, when I'm out traveling, it might be a little bit difficult to do it uh, on a regular day every week, but I'm going to go into uh, some of my favorite videos from y'all this week in VEDS. I'm going to rather arbitrarily start with uh, Caleb. Uh, you know what? Every once in a while, that's the, this is the really cool thing about VEDS. Every once in a while, uh, one of y'all will post a video and I'll be like, you know, a part of me wonders if when they were making this video, they were going, you know what, Graham will like this. And Caleb's uh, museum video was one of those. Um, I love a good museum video. I'm especially glad that he got to show me that one because unfortunately it is unlikely that I'll be able to make a trip over to Nashville and uh, see it for myself anytime soon. If I had been there, I probably would have had the opposite day of you being so focused on the 20th century and music part of things that I'd uh, not spend as much time in the other areas. I tend to do that with museums. For some reason, uh, it's the more recent history that I'm most interested in. But yeah, I, re I very much enjoyed watching that. I also very much enjoyed all those uh, drone shots that we've been seeing in, in your videos from that area that I think you said your girlfriend was shooting. They are freaking amazing. Uh, moving on to uh, Tessa. Uh, I loved your video yesterday on the uh, songs with the best vocal intros. I agree, and it's tempting me. I may at some point in this uh, month make a video on songs with the best drum intros because there's some cool, iconic uh, songs with some cool drum fills at the beginning. I don't think I'd be able to come up with a top 15 for that, but uh, seems like a cool idea. And you're right, when a song really jumps out at you, um, captivates you right from the very beginning, that's when you know you've got a good hook. And speaking of things that I swear I'm going to try to do if I find myself with any free time whatsoever this month, uh, Tessa and Abby have both, it seems, been trying to convince me to watch The Great British Bake Off. I agree with you, Abby, about, um, soft competition shows. For me, the, like, high drama style who has a feud with who who's in like an alliance with who type shows i've never had much patience for but yeah i got into master chef for a while and where there is certainly some of that in that show i really did like it for feeling like the competitors end product was the most important thing and everyone did for the most part seem to be appreciating each other's successes a little bit. And there was, of course, it's a competition show, so someone's going to be the winner, and there's going to be a lot of very sad people who do not win. But, yeah, they have a much cleaner vibe all in all, and they feel a little bit more genuine to me, I think. As you can tell, that whole one-take thing, just not going to happen. Uh, Jeffrey, for some reason, your odd question about food has been on my mind a little bit this week uh, in thinking about just foods that have been really uh, hyped up, but then when I tried them, I didn't like, and I came up with my number one, and it's churros. I'm going to uh, hopefully go to Disneyland in the next four weeks or so here, should all go well. Still a lot to put together for that, but anyway... Um, and that made me think about that. I spent, what do you pay now? Eight, nine bucks for a churro at Disneyland? And I was like, no, I don't like it. And again, I already knew I didn't really like churros, but, you know, Disneyland churros get so hyped up. And I don't know, they should be good. Big stick of, like, cinnamon bread stuff, that sounds good. But there's something about, like, the consistency of the dough in your typical churro, which a lot of people love, but I'm just not about it. Oh, Pancakes, similar thing. Never been a huge p fan of pancakes. I uh, don't know why. A little, I guess, I don't know if starchy is the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, and also, waffles are superior, in my opinion. Alicia, you know I'm always here for your original tunes, and I love how much you've been playing and writing songs and playing covers on the ukulele 
over this past year. I was going to ask you a month or two ago if you were still uh, keeping up with writing songs and playing covers and whatnot on ukulele because it's just so you and I was kind of hoping it wasn't just a phase and now I'm so glad uh, to be seeing more original songs from you and to know that, uh, yeah, not just a phase like your love of Doctor Who, it is so much more and I am here for it. Um, yeah, like I've said so many times, you write such great atmospheric and moving songs. Love them. And, oh my gosh, getting the sneak peek into your sketchbook was wonderful. It's so pretty, and I kind of want to look through it next time I'm at your house. Also, I have to send this call out to the world. Someone has to go and subscribe to her right now, because I'm on... Uh, the Digital Diarist YouTube channel and it is currently sitting at 199 subscribers and that's really bothering me so somebody go subscribe to youtube.com slash latinalis right heckin now and now I'm gonna finish uh, this video with talking about some of what James made uh, this week like I said earlier every once in a while in VEDS the cool thing is a video will come out where you're like I feel like they made this for me and James basically said it in his record collection video um, that he was making those after seeing some of my collection last year. And yeah, I love some of those, uh, Disney and related releases. Uh, I really want that Beetlejuice, uh, soundtrack album. Um, and yeah, the Disney, um, picture discs are so cool. I have a couple of them and I have a, also a Back to the Future one, as I was saying, and they're really cool. And as much as I don't agree with doing this, uh, I know they're really cool pieces just even to hang on your wall if you don't have a record player. Um, I mean, whatever. Picture discs don't usually sound quite as good as your regular black vinyl, but nowadays technology is getting so good that you barely even notice the difference. But I promised you after watching your Disney Properties video that I would share my concept for an Emperor's New Groove themed land. You had mentioned... Uh, maybe making a restaurant themed to uh, that fantastic movie, uh, probably themed after Mudka's Meat Hut, which I agree, I want that. You also talked about a Kronk's Spinach Puffs um, like food cart, and I want that so much too. I so much want to eat one of Kronk's Spinach Puffs now, that's all I can think about, but conversely, you will never, I don't care what it actually is, you will never get me to eat anything resembling that pill bug. Not going to happen. Big no. But my idea for a themed land, which maybe you could have that restaurant and cart on like a path leading up to it, is to make a land themed after an alternate future where Ku's Kotopia has been completed. I was able to find this photo online of like an official Disney, I think it's a magazine of some sort, sort of describing what Cusco-topia was supposed to be. And likely a lot of these things would get changed if it were a theme park, but I can see a pretty badass log flume style attraction for this sort of thing. Lots of stuff for kids. I mean, look at that. There's a bounce room right there and a, a swimming pool. Um, uh, yeah, I'm picturing a themed land sort of not unlike Cars Land, which is pretty linear, and there's sort of a path leading up to it. Maybe there can be little uh, kids, uh, like, adventure. Like, I'm thinking of, if you know, the... Uh, I'm not sure if it's there anymore, but the obstacle course type thing for kids themed to Up that was in uh, California Adventure for a while. Sort of stuff like that to mimic the journey uh, through the jungle and whatnot that the... Uh, characters had to do in the movie, but then again, I guess that wouldn't make sense because in the end they would have failed at their journey if Cusco Topia was built. Maybe I haven't thought this through all the way, but Disney would never build this anyway, but I just think that would be so awesome. Anyway, as always, I've had such a fun time here in the first week of VEDS. Uh, I gotta finish packing now and cleaning so that I'm ready to go on my epic journey very, very, very soon. Uh, tomorrow, to be exact. Uh, Tamara is going to be with me on this great journey. You'll get to meet her a little bit. And, uh, yeah, you'll see videos from there starting on Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, as always, thanks for making awesome content, fellow Vedsies. And I just want to say one more thing. I don't want to put any, like, pressure on everybody, but I just can't believe how 
like on top of it y'all have been and how perfect we've done so far. I've probably been the most behind schedule one so far, but we've all gotten our videos up on the day uh, so far. And it seems like, I mean, I'm on the West Coast, but it feels like when I wake up, most of you already have your videos up every single day. Don't know how you're all doing it, but I'm highly impressed. And uh, yeah, <laughs> don't mean to overwhelm y'all, but 23 days to go. We got this. Um, yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Catch you again tomorrow and every day for the rest of this month.